Hey guys, we're Lumis Lumen, and come back to you guys with week seven of the TCL. And this week we are facing Dan B. And he's coach of the the Noctowls. I just forgot the name of this city. I was a little bit unprofessional. Violet City Noctowls. And um today, guys, we're three and two with one did not play, and our first week was last week against the winter trainer. Uh, but we only got three outs, so that wasn't too bad. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you my team right quickly. Um I need to find him. Um, when ready. Okay. That is my team in that. So let's go here. I'm going to start with Clefable, Bertha. First time I'm bringing this thing, it's got leftovers. It has Unaware, Moonblast, Thunderwave, Flamethrower, Soft, Boiled for recovery. Um, I have the things on here so it can take... Uh, certain things from certain Pokemon. I should have already had this set up over here. He has Weavile, and I want to be able to Thunder Wave it if I need to. Uh, he has a few hard-hitting special Pokemon that I want to be able to come in with this and take a hit and be able to do a decent amount back. Like Rotomo, I know if he specs, that will do a lot. But this can eat up those hits. I also have Unaware on here because I want to be able to come in on a Dragon Dance Salamance and just wall it. Next, we have Arcadia the Uxie, who's fully physically defensive. Culberberry for the Weavile, and then Thunderwave also for the Weavile. I really want to slow down things that are fast. Stealth Rocks, and then that's all the coverage I need. Next, we have Quetzal, the Mega Charizard Y. It's Blaze before Mega Evolution, but obviously it's going to get Drought. So it has Roost, Empire Ice, Solar Beam, and Fire Blast. That should hit about everything. And then next, we have Woodhead, the Scarfed Shiftery. Focus Blast, Dark Pulse, Energy Ball, Hidden Power Ice. Then we have Chomper, the Scarf Tyrantrum, who has Head Smash, Ice Fang, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. I need that for the Cobalion. Uh, I have both these with the same speed set because I want them just enough outspeed Weavile, who's the fastest member on his team. Last but not least, we have Floatzel. Actually, he's a spec set this week. This would be really nice if he has a physically defensive Sabli. He will not be expecting it. He'll be like, oh, he's going to go into the If he goes into this... I'm going to go into Saddle. I can take any hit that he wants to throw at me. Um, but I'll be able to Specs him. I can't learn Soft Boil because it's incompatibility. Okay, just a second. Um. Huh. I'm going to put Aromatherapy on this. Ah. Uh, don't come on. I, I didn't know that this would happen. Oh, uh, do I get Wish? I do get Wish. I think I'll put Wish on here. Oh, do I want Wish? Well, I have a chance to use Wish. I don't know. I was not expecting that not to work. I should have checked out the team. Um, I, I think Wish will do me fine. I have a decent amount of HP stats, so I'll be able to Wish Pass if I need to. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Good luck, have fun. Oh, look, it tells you all the genders, which I messed up. Okay, anyways, let's see what he brought. He did bring a bunch of things I thought he'd bring. That's great. I'll start out with Yuxi. Um, I see Heatran lead set up the rocks. I want to set up the rocks as well, but I also have Hidden Power Ground, so if he is not Flyberry, um, if he's not, not Flyberry, if he's not Air Balloon, I can hit him with that. Or I can go for Dazzling Gleam to pop that. But I also want to be able to use Thunder Wave, maybe. I don't know. Let's just get this started. Hopefully he starts out with something. Maybe it's going to be a mess for Uxie lead. Yeah, there we go. Grace. I'm going to go ahead for the... I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. I want to start off strong. Ooh, the rocks would be nice, though. I'm going to get the rocks on the next turn. I'll be able to outspeed and give the rocks. He's going to be fully paralyzed. That is great. That is just dandy. I think in this situation, I did not bring defog on anything. So I mean, this will have to come in on half, uh, which will be disappointing, to say the least. I don't really know what I want to do right now. I think I'll just dazzling gleam. <laughs> That does nothing. He's going to Thunder Wave as well. I don't want anything else to get paralyzed. I'm just going to... 
Dazzling Gleam again. I want him to come out into his Heatran so I can hidden power ground that. Man, I can't get anything else paralyzed. He's going to Thunderbolt, which can do more than my Dazzling Gleam. I think right here he's going to Thunder Wave, and then he's going to say, I won't switch. I'm going to be Stalwart, so he's going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt the next turn, and I'll have a chance to switch out into Woodhead. Okay, he's going to be fully paralyzed, actually. That's going to be nice. Now I think he's going to Thunderbolt, so I'm going to go into Woodhead. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have the upper hand right now. And I really want to take the strong move and go for the Focus Blast, predicting the Heatran to come in. But I think, to be safe, i got to go for the Focus Blast. Because he also has a Cove line, and that has Justified. I don't want that to get the Justified boost. I could go for Energy Ball. Let me do some calcs. I have Shiftry. Um, 252 Modest. I think I'm Modest, right? Yeah, I'm Modest. Okay. Against a... Let's just check this. Against a Mesprit. Let's make this specially defensive. Should be Impish. How much does a dark pulse do? Uh, wow, that doesn't do as much as I thought it would when I came into this. Um, I'm just gonna go for the dark pulse. He's gonna stay in. I kill. Okay, good. Nice and early kill. It's just what I want. Oh, that was a cool animation. I didn't even notice animations before. Hmm. I guess it, no, I guess I have, because I remember seeing Thunderbolts and whatnot. I guess I just haven't seen Dark Pulse before. Now, let's see what he wants to go into. He could easily go into the Cobra line, but he does not know that I'm Scarfed, which is the key thing. Because he was paralyzed. I could see a... Maybe a Salamence coming out here. Maybe a... F some He didn't bring... Oh, yes. He didn't bring his Mega Sabli. Oh, that's the one thing that I was extremely scared of. I was, oh man, I, I didn't even, didn't even phase me. I had so much to plan for that. Oh man, that is. I knew there was something they didn't bring that I wanted him not to bring. Because I had, let's see, I had this, which could pretty much Oko if it was physically defensive. I had this for that. This did a decent amount. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He does go into the Weavile here. Um. I'm going to go into Bertha. I can take any hit he wants to throw at me, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. His biggest threat to me right now is the Suicune. But if I can get the Mega Charizard against that, then I'll be nice because I'll be able to solo him. This is Mega Charizard Y, by the way. He's gonna go. He did. He did pick me there, but I'm actually glad he did because I can come out to the UC right now. And because I'm Culberberry, I can bulk the knockoff. But I think going into it like how I did right there. He's going to know that I am. So that means I'm just going to get a free Thunder Wave off. Um, let me check Weavile Life Orb. Adamant. With the Culberberry, Berry, he does a whopping 42%. So that means even if he does switch or stay in, he won't kill and get off the Thunder Wave. But now he's going to... Have something else come in and get thunder waved. I'm gonna go into floats on now. Cause I can take any of his stab hits really well. Um 
and I can obviously throw back a hit or two. I think if I do go into floats right now, which I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and hit with the... He went for the roar. Okay. That wasn't necessarily good. Oh, I'm going to go for the hidden power. Because I do have two other things for the Weavile. This isn't my only thing for the Weavile. And I'm pretty sure this will do a decent amount because it is quite effective. And I am bold, so that means... But I have a better special attack than physical attack. But I do have a really low special attack stat if you do look at that right there. I do see maybe Roaring again. Arcatheon going for an attack. But this is physically defensive. And this is my last wall. So once this is gone I don't have a nice switch into anything. Okay that, didn't, that did like nothing. He's just going to Roar though. Which is just fine and dandy with me. Because on here... I brought an attack for everyone except for nice planning. Ultra nice planning. That is the best planning I've ever seen. Oh man, Charizard, why? If I just brought Focus Blast, I brought Hidden Power Ice instead, and I brought Roost. I just brought Roost because I didn't think I needed another move. I'm going to see the most I can do. I'm modest. Okay, Heatran. Let's say he's specially defensive. Because he took that thing really well. I want to see... I literally do nothing with either of my attacks I can actually hit him with. So I'm actually just going to go for the Roost. So if he does try and switch me out, then I'll just... He does go for the Flash Cannon. He's not Flame Body. He can't be Flame Body that, because I have this. I'm going to hard switch again. And if he goes for the Roar, hopefully it just doesn't bring me to Char Y. Okay, Shift Ray. This is fine. I have Focus Blast. I can live with this. And I have Chlorophyll, so even if he goes in something Scarf, this is going to, like, triply outspeed them. Okay. Ooh. I missed. That's just dandy. That would have killed too. Okay, let's see. Choice scarf. Choice scarf. Strong draw. No, I want. I am actually jolly. Um, let's check. I have earthquake, but I don't want to go straight to earthquake. Uh, you know, earthquake is gonna be my best bet here. If he does switch into the salamance. No, how much does head smash do? Head Smash does only about half. I want to I wanna Earthquake. I don't want him not to die. But if I feel like he's going to switch into Salamence right now. And if he does, then that's not good. Oh man, why do I have so many ice type weaknesses on my team? I know I only brought two, but I have Gliscor, Zapdos. I do kill. Okay, good. Okay, Gly I have Gliscor, I have Zapdos, I have Chesnut, Shiftry, Tyrantrum. That's five. That's almost half my team. And I mean, ice isn't that prominent of a type itself, but a lot of people do get moves like Ice Beam, Ice Punch, Ice Fang. So it's easy just to throw a move on there. Especially having that many. Yeah, he does go into this. I don't know if he knows I'm scarfed. But I'm going to give it away switching right here. Okay. Okay, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, actually. Um... 
which did nothing, which is weird because I'm physically defensive. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. Yeah, I, I knew I couldn't kill. Uh, I'm just going to hop right into Floatzel right here. And I want to Ice Beam. But I also want to Scald. I, I think I have to Ice Beam. I outspeed him, so... I'm Specs, though. So if he does switch, then I'm going to have to switch subsequently. Thinks I'm physical. Um. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. He does switch into the Suicune like I thought he would. Um, But right here, it's pretty open for me to go right into my Mega Charizard. Because I do get Sun Up, so that means Skull won't do very much. I do see him going for a Toxic or something like that. Man, I didn't build well at all. I thought I built amazingly. I, I don't know. I'm I'm not saying I'm gonna lose. I think I have a good chance though. Cause I'm already out of walls. I think I need to bring three walls or at least some bulky attackers because I only brought two walls, and they're both dedicated. Like Zapdos is a great bulky offensive mon, but I only have one Zapdos. I don't have. Let me pull up my team right quick. Scald shouldn't kill unless we specially invested. Okay, there we go. I can. I I really want to go for an attack, but to be safe, I need to roost. Cause solar beam can't kill. Um. Looking at my team. I have, if it wants to do this correctly, goes for the rain dance actually. That was a, oh, he probably brought that for this. I'm going to go for another roost. Oh, he went for the, scald, I forgot that the sun wasn't up. Okay, I don't have anything for this at this point. But Head Smash should still do a decently good amount. Chesnut's a bulky attacker. Dewblade's a bulky attacker. Uh, so is Escavalier. I I need to <laughs> drop. I need to drop someone that has a nice weakness and pick someone else up that doesn't have a nice type weakness. I've too many ice type weaknesses, just to be completely honest. That does half, okay. I. I'm. Ugh. I chose the wrong ability. That's just dandy. That is just nice. Actually. Floatzel might be able to take it back if there is rain up and I get a crit or a high roll I can actually kill the Suicune actually yeah the Hydro Pump I just don't outspeed the Weavile because I'm not Swift Swift I I would have loved to choose the right ability on there. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. Come on. High roll, crit, something. Well, that sure was a high roll, but...
There's a miss. I could have gotten only 3 0 but I got 4 0 That is disappointing. Oh, man. That was a combination of hacks and choosing the wrong ability. That was a fun match, though. I can't complain. I just really need to lose. I need to drop some ice type wings. Um, I need to see what's available. I'm thinking I want to drop Chesnut. I want to pick up something else in the tier. What's in that tier? I I picked up Chesnut, but I need I need a fighting type. I could probably pick up a champ unless if someone else has my champ. I love that. I'm gonna. Check in on that, guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Um, that was that was a. Now we're three and three, I think. I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.